there welcome back to my finishing your art journal pages series we're now on the third video and this page that I'm going to be creating on is actually the reverse of the page that we did in the first video so if you haven't seen those videos you can go onto my channel and see the other finishing your art journal pages series my first step with this page is the one that we did in the last video which is just gessoing over an area of the background as you can see this page already has acrylic, it already has ink, it already has some stenciling and I'm just using some gesso to break that up and begin what we're going to be focusing on in this video which is the art of shapes. So I'm picking a stencil with some bold shapes to reverse stencil here so removing the gesso with a wet wipe and using a paint pen I'm going to make the arrow shapes even bolder. This is one of my junk journaling pages, so on goes a bit of junk mail, one of the security envelope patterns. And now I'm adding a shape which I actually saw in one of Leonardo da Vinci's notebooks, so I'm not quite sure what it is. I'm assuming it's the sun, the sun's rays, maybe some mirrors, but I didn't look that up, I just like the shape. And thinking in shapes is a great way to go for finishing your art journal pages because it just also makes you think about composition, where things would look better to go, what area needs what thing, does this shape need to be bolder, does it need softening, what little shapes can you add here to give it an extra bit of detail, and all of those kind of things. So shapes are a great place to go from, if ever you're stuck with your art journal pages, which is of course what this whole series is addressing. To make my Leonardo da Vinci shape, I just use my Pentel brush pen and a few different acrylics. And as I'm looking at the page, I'm realising that I'm not very happy with the arrows. They're quite stark, but I want them bold as well. So what I do is I choose different purple colours to contrast with the orange because they're opposite on the colour wheel. So just to make that pop a little bit more, but also in a way just to take off the edge of the starkness of the orange. The Da Vinci shape has made me realise I want something above it, so I'm just going to draw a quick figure. And I really like how just thinking in shapes makes you think, this will look better on this thing and this will look better on this thing. And it really is a great way to prompt yourself into the next step and into the next step and into the next step of your art journal page. Because I don't know when I do these pages where they're going to go. So with this one particularly, I'm just allowing the shapes to take me along for the ride really. <laughs> While I've already got a pen in my hand, I can't resist doing a bit of journaling. And then I feel I want some big shapes at the top of the page to kind of balance it out a little. So I do some big circles and then again, it prompts me onto the next step and to the next step to make these look a little bit more florally. So I just turn them into super simple roses. break up the page I'm using some ink splatters and then I'm just going with a little bit of extra detail like adding some shapes to the dress on the little figure and things like that to finish it off and make it feel more like my junk journaling which I <laughs> is really encompassed in this messy, layered, bright, <laughs> full of stuff sort of page. So that was the third video in this series. I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see another new video from me, I just posted a tissue paper abstract video for the monthly challenge of June over on journalworkshops.ning.com which is my online community and the monthly challenge group is one of the free groups that I have on there so go over and check that out 
if you'd like something that might stretch your creativity a little and to join in with the other beautiful creative beings that are on that site. Much love everybody, have an awesome day, bye bye.